Hey guys, it's me Rod Marquez. In today's video, I'll show you how to catch Corbina in the surf. There's multiple ways of catching Corbina in the surf, but in my opinion, the most exciting way is sight fishing for them. And the best way to get them to bite is skillfully casting a lively sand crab right in front of their noses. The very finicky California Corbinas, also known as beans, can be caught off the coast of Southern California along the sandy beaches and shallow bays. These beautiful species spawn from June through September, and their staple diet is the high-protein, rich sand crab. In junction of the spawning periods, the sand crabs are abundant during these months and found in the thousands in the sand of various beaches. How to find sand crabs? Each beach is different, but I do notice a correlation between soft sandy beaches versus hard and rocky beaches. If you find yourself on the soft sandy beaches, keep a lookout for sand crab beds because these are the beaches they are most likely to be in. You can spot these sand crab beds during a receding high tide or even on various receding waves. They look like a bunch of bumps in the sand and they usually clump together by the hundreds. Using a scooper or even a mini shovel works, but personally I like using my hands. Dig a 2-3 to three inch hole and scoop them up gently. Gear of choice. Again, there's a lot of gear out there, but I personally use an ultra light setup for two reasons. It's fun to fight them on light line and it's what I personally have when I use to catch trout. I have an 8 foot presso rod, ultra light fast action with a Shimano 500 size reel, spooled with 4 pound monofilament iser line. Rig of choice. Carolina rig with a 2 to 4 feet liter of 4 pound test. 1 8 ounce egg weight, swivel, bead, and a size 10 mosquito hook. I like using a small size hook and light line because I believe the Corbina are finicky type predators and using ultralight gear will increase your chances of a fish to bite. How to hook sand crabs. Using your mosquito hook, you want to start from the underside of the sand crab and have the hook go through just the side of the tail and expose the tip of the hook to the upside of the sand crab. How to fish for Kerbina. Using polarized glasses, you can often see Kerbina breaking the water surface on various receding tides or even in the shallow waters. This is an indication that those Kerbina are feeding off sand crab beds and are most likely to bite the sand crab you cast at them. Easier said than done, but casting your live sand crab right where the Kerbina is going to be at the next appropriate wave will increase your chances of that particular Kerbina to bite your bait. From my experiences, I notice every time I cast a sand crab anywhere from a 5 to 10 yard radius of where the Kerbina are currently swimming, they spook and never come back. So this method, if you cast where the Corbina is going to be, the Corbina doesn't get spooked and will most likely pick up your sand crab that is placed strategically for them. Okay, I know there's a lot of variables to fishing, techniques, gear, etc. But I hope this video guides you on some of the basics on how to catch Corbina in the surf. Again, I make these videos for fun and I purely enjoy sharing knowledge that was passed down to me. Because that's what I think fishing's all about. Sharing the experience and enjoying the outdoors. If you like this video, comment below. Maybe share it. If we get more than 500 likes, I'll make more for you guys. Okay, this next video clip is me hooking up on a nice size Corbina in the surf. I hope you enjoy. I got one. I got one. Set the hook. There it is. Oh, I got him. Four pound test. Okay, I think this is a nice quality Corbina right now. I was sight fishing for this guy, probably 30 minutes. Sight fishing for this guy. This Corbina would come in into shallow water just like this, just like this, and he would eat off. Oh, shoot. He would eat off the sand crab beds when the waves start coming in. I placed that sand crab right where that bed is and then I popped that sand crab just a little bit off that sand and then he, he munched it. Finally hooked up on him. A good 30 minutes of sight fishing for this. I believe it's a quality Corbina. But I'm using a Carolina rig, live sand crab. Just getting it from the beach. This looks like a quality one, guys. This one is probably gonna take me a, a little bit of time. 
to bring them in. I'm using ultralight line, my trout gear, four pound test. Let's bring them in. Oh, I see him. He, uh, he's at more than 15 inches right now. The good quality ones, I would say the brute are the ones that are like 20 inches and above. And this one, oh, oh my gosh, battling the wave. I don't want to horse this guy in too much, but you, you want to keep constant tension in the rod. With those head shakes, they're notorious for shaking out that small mosquito hook. Woo! Look at that. It's beautiful out here. It is just beautiful. Holy moly. That rod is bendo. <laughs> he was shaking his head right there. Oh my god. Try to use the wave in my favor. So when the wave starts coming up, start trying to pull him. Oh, he's a quality one, guys. Oh, holy moly, he's a big one. Oh, 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 oh. he saw my feet. He saw me. Use the wave here. He's probably ready here. Oh my God, this is my biggest Corbina. This is probably 18 inches here. Oh, oh, oh. how awesome is this? Okay, next wave, I'm gonna properly come up. Wow, that's a nice one, guys. That is a nice one. There it is, there it is. Use this wave, second wave. There it is. Come on, come on, come on. There it is. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Wow, that's a giant Kerbita. That is a giant! Look at that! Quality, quality Farinos.